Hello everybody, welcome to this verbaling class with me, my name is Teacher Amy. Today's class is a speaking class and we're going to be talking about social media but particularly Pinterest today. So if you're interested in Pinterest then um, come along in and join us. We're going to be sort of um, talking a little bit about social media and what it means to us, how it plays a role in our lives but we're also going to be looking at some Pinterest boards and talking about the stuff that we see on them and is it useful? Is it fun? Is it a waste of time? What do you guys think? Are you members of Pinterest? Do you use other social media sites? Um, and what do you think of it? So do come along in and join us. If you want to find out anything more about Verblink, this class, or private tutoring sessions, then the best place to go is to either my Facebook page or my Verblink teacher page, which you can find there in the chat box. Um, we're going to say hi to the students and see what they think, first of all, about Pinterest. And this is a speaking class mainly today, so if you do want to practice your speaking, come along in and join us. So who do we have here, first of all? We have Mariam. Hello. Oh, hello, teacher. Nice to see you again. How is everything? Uh, well, I think it, everything's fine. Thanks you for think, asking. <laughs> you think <laughs> <laughs> some things maybe not sure about? Uh, no, I think uh, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. Good. I'm, is your studying going okay? Is your work going okay? Uh, yes. Okay, that's great news. Well, um, Marianne, do you use Pinterest? Have you ever heard uh, of Pinterest? Uh, yes, I have an account. Okay, and how often do you use it? Mm, oh, well, I, I guess once a month. <laughs> once a month? About uh, once a month. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I use uh, um, other social networks uh, much more. Okay, can you tell me about that? Do you use Facebook? Uh, yes, and Twitter. Alright, and which, can you tell me a little bit about it? So. Do you, what do you use those social networks for? Is it just for fun or do you use them for your business or what, what particularly? Uh, well, I guess uh, aside from having fun, maybe business also uh, discussing interest, uh, interesting threads with your friends and mm -hmm. acquaintances and perhaps uh, even promoting uh, what you do in a professional manner. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. It's very good to hear. Um, there are so many social networks out there at the moment. Um, I guess it's, it's sometimes I, I wonder whether they're actually more trouble than they're worth, whether they're helpful, whether they're just sort of fun, or whether they're a complete waste of time. So it's interesting to hear what people use and, and why they use it. So thank you, Marianne, for starting us off. Welcome to the class. Uh, thank you. Um, who else are we going to say hi to? We're going to say hi to Jacqueline. Hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, I was mute. <laughs> no problem, Jacqueline. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay, well, welcome. And um, tell me, um, how long have you been studying English with Verbling for? Uh, with Verbling, I think, I don't know, some months. Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure uh, how long. Okay. And um, how long have you been studying English overall, roughly? Uh, English for about 10 years or more. <laughs> okay, so a long time. All right, I'm interested to know, Are you? have you ever used Pinterest? Well, um, some time ago I was invited to, to use it and uh, to be quite sure I didn't realize exactly how it works because I just saw some pictures yeah, and I didn't really understand what it's about so I, I just didn't have much interest in it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have much Pinterest. <laughs> okay. And what about now? <laughs> Sorry, that was a horrible joke. I know. Um, <laughs> you, you, you don't, so you sort of had a look at it, but you don't really use it. No, no. I I just opened it because I saw the classes about it, <laughs> just to see. And I I just don't understand it. I still don't understand it. There, it's like um. And um, 
it's like because you, you asked the other girl forgot Marion, yeah. Yep. About Facebook, so it's like a, a social network, yeah. But yep. it only um, about images. Is that it? Yes, well we're actually going to find out a little bit more about it as we go on. But basically mm -hmm. what it is, Mariam's given a good description, it's sort of like an online pin board, which is why it's called Pinterest. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If you guys know, you know like a pin board that you have on your wall here, maybe you stick stuff on it with pins to remind you or I don't know. Pinterest is mm -hmm. sort of all about, personally this is what I think, it's, it's about gathering in, inspiration or seeing things you like and keeping a note of them somewhere. And yeah, it's very, very visual. So most things have some kind of a picture or image. Although you can pin websites, movies, that type of stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, so Jacqueline, apart from Pinterest, do you use any other social media? Uh, yeah, Facebook. <laughs> OK, mm -hmm. and how often do you use Facebook? Mm. I hate this how long question. <laughs> I have a really ten hours a day. <laughs> I have a trouble with that. Um, I don't know for some years, five years maybe something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. how long. That's how long you've used it for. But how often do you use it? Like every oh. day or? Yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately, yes. Okay, very honest of you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, let's say hi. Well, welcome to the class, Jacqueline. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Alejandro, hello. Hello. hello Is your mouth feeling okay uh, after last class? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We were doing pronunciation. Um, so, Alejandro, tell me about Pinterest. Have you ever heard of Pinterest? Uh, Pinterest. Uh, I don't use uh, Pinterest. Okay. Do you use other social media? Do you use Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn? Uh, I usually use Facebook, yes. Okay. And what particularly do you use Facebook for? Just for fun? Or do you use it for your work or maybe sending messages? Mm. Uh, I use Facebook uh, to see my friends' photos. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so basically to keep in touch with what your friends are doing, mostly. Mm. Okay. It's really interesting because I think most social media sites have a lot of features and they seem to be getting more features every second. Um, I think probably most of us use one or two of the features more than others. I know that I seem to have this latest craze of using a messaging feature on Facebook. I find it really useful to be able to send messages to groups so that everybody can see what everybody else is saying. It's a lot more convenient than email when you have to organize something with a group. So that's probably what I primarily use Facebook for at the moment, although it hasn't always been like that. Um, let's see what Yuki says. Hello, Yuki. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. We've already met Yuki, remember? <laughs> I'm a few, one of a few students that that uh, joined your first class. You when are. Were, you are. It's about uh, maybe That's last right. year. In That's this year, last year maybe. <laughs> yeah, it was. A year's gone so quickly. Can you believe it, Yuki? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is it's amazing how quickly time goes. Um, yeah. And time I don't know. As a, as a Pardon? Uh, time, time pass, time pass, fast, like a row. Like no? an arrow, like an arrow. Like an arrow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it does. Um, Yuki, do you uh, have you ever heard of Pinterest? Yes, uh, recently I I read the I read the uh, article about about the uh, Pinterest. Uh, I know that it is uh, one of the fastest fastest growing social network mm -hmm. online now. It is amazing to know that uh, Pinterest is the third largest social network yep. after 
Facebook and Twitter. Yep. I I haven't know. Uh, I I only know about it recently. Mm -hmm. So you only found yeah. out about it recently. Yes. Ah. Yes. Yeah. So a uh, new service uh, appears one after uh, an another. So it's difficult to catch up with it for me. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> for my age. <laughs> um, not just for your age, Yuki. I think everybody, well, okay, I yeah, can't speak for everybody. No? But, it is um, easy for you. You are still young, so it, <laughs> it is very easy for you to catch up with new service. Keep up, keep um. up. <laughs> Okay, keep there's up. a difference, you see, Yuki. There's a difference between to catch up and to keep up, right? To keep, keep up, up, keep up means that you have to follow what's going on, that you receive new information as it comes about. To catch I up see. means that something is ahead of you and you're behind, and you want to catch up to reach Ooh. that thing that's ahead of you. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Right. So you are good at keeping up with the new trend. No? Um, I don't know if I'm good at it. I try. I try. You can make full use of it, these services. Yes. Well, actually, Pinterest is something that I've only recently started looking at um, because I also found out it was really growing popular and I've actually found it quite fun, to be honest with you, because it's sort of a way of like finding interesting things and keeping a note of them. It's quite useful for me because it's somewhere I can keep a note of class ideas or things that I find inspiring. Um, I'm not sure what other people use it for, but that's the point of this class, to find out. It, you... It's a kind of a scrapbook, isn't it? Yeah, that's a really good analogy. It is a kind of a scrapbook. Um, and it's very easy to, to put stuff on there um, as you're going through the web. So it's quite a cool thing. Yuki, do you use any other social networks or do you use any at all? Uh, I don't have an account on Facebook, um, only Google Plus. Okay. But I'm uh, one of the first users of social network in mm -hmm. Japan. It's called Mixi. After okay. Mixi, uh, Facebook, after after the succeed of Mixi, a uh, Facebook appeared. So I already <laughs> experienced uh, social. What what is so what is social? So what social net is like before many users <laughs> experienced it. Wow, yes. all right, that's amazing. So um, can you tell, what did you say it was called? Mishi? Mishi. Mishi. Do, don't you know? Mishi. I haven't heard of it. No, what, can you explain it? Is it I exactly think, the same as Facebook? Or? I think Facebook pretend Mixi the service. Oh. But mix. But Mixi, uh, after uh, after appearance of uh, Facebook, Mixi lose, lose its popularity. And now I think a few people use Mixi. But then uh, a lot of people use Mixi. Mm -hmm. OK, I'm going to have to look that up later. Um, OK, so we're going to have a quick look at a Pinterest board. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. You guys don't need to have a Pinterest account or anything for this class, but we're just going to look at my screen. And we're going to have a play around with it and basically practice our English as we're talking about what we see um, and learning a little bit about it. Um, it's Okay, let me give you my a brief experience I've had. Okay, I've been using it for about three or four weeks now. Um, you have a collection of, of these virtual pin boards. Um, when you first log on to the site, you can see what we've got here. It's basically the home page, and this is just a series of random pins. Each of these um, these sort of boxes are called pins. You have the picture, which is or the quote or whatever the main thing, and then you've got some kind of description and maybe some comments about it. Um, and if you if you can see if I scroll my mouse over it there, I can choose to pin this. If I click on that, it will. I can choose to pin it to one of my pin boards. Um, or I can send it on to a friend, or I can heart it, put it as one of my favorites. Basically, if you keep scrolling down like this, it just goes on and on forever. Um, I've never reached the bottom of Pinterest. I don't know if there is a bottom. Um, but you don't have to look at what comes up on the home page. You can search for things, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take it in turns to come up with a search criteria. We're going to search.
much, and then we're going to have a look and see what comes up and talk about it. So I just want to say a quick look, to, a quick hello to William, who's just joined us. Hi, William. He was gone. And he's gone. Unfortunately. Maybe he was offended by my hello. Hopefully not. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So you can see that lots and lots of stuff comes up on here. It's very, very visual based, which is what Jacqueline pointed out. I think um, some of the things lead to websites or whatever, um, but some of the things are just there for inspiration. Pictures, there's recipes, there's lots and lots of stuff. So what we're going to do is come up with different search themes. I'm going to ask Marianne. Marianne, can you give me an idea? We're going to type it into the search box and see what comes up. So anything at all that you you can think of. Uh, well, uh, uh, what about uh, a garden? Okay, garden is a great one. Let's type in garden and we will see what comes up. Um, one of the interesting things about Pinterest is you can actually put more than one search. So if you type garden, you can then refine your search to, I don't know, flowers or DIY. You can see all of these choices coming up here at the top. Here we have some garden pins. So I'm going to ask you some questions about this. Um, I'm going to scroll. Is someone trying to speak to me? No, that's just a bit of background noise, I think. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, if you guys can just mute if you're not actually talking. Um, what I'm going to do is scroll up and down a little bit so you can get the idea. We've got random pictures of stuff. So here's like a make your own, I don't know what that is exactly. It looks like a plant potter. There's like a nice chalkboard. There's inspiration, there's flowers, fruit, there's quotes, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to put my screen maybe, let me see if I can choose a decent part. Let's put it here. All right, have a look at this part, guys. Check out the pins and see what you can see. Um, I want you to choose one of these pictures. Just silently choose one of these pictures and come up with three adjectives, okay? Three adjectives about your picture. Um, so I'm going to ask you, and the others of us are going to try and guess which one you chose. So three adjectives. See if you can make them as descriptive as possible. And it, once you've chosen three, you might want to write them down somewhere and let me know when you're ready. I'm going to do the same. Sorry, teacher. It's three activities, you said. Three adjectives. So three describing words, Jacqueline. So for example, Adjective. you might have this one in your mind, okay? And you might say, mm -hmm. okay, grey... Uh, weird. I don't know. Those look weird no, to me. That's okay. oh, I was just having trouble, trouble to understand. Because for me, I also said adjectives, but it's said in a different way. <laughs> okay, cool. So you understand <laughs> now, Jacqueline? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And um, while you guys are thinking of your adjectives, I'm going to say hello to Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. How are you? Good. Thank you. Welcome to the class. <laughs> thank you. All right, so we're just having a bit of fun with Pinterest today. Have you ever been on Pinterest before? Have you ever heard of it? No, me. Well, my wife all the time is in Pinterest. Aha. Okay. So <laughs> she wastes her day on it, does she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna have a. We're just having a bit of fun. Um, I, what I've asked everybody to do is to choose one of the images, one of the pins on this page. And to think of three adjectives that describe it, we're going to have a bit of turn guessing which one is chosen and talking about the pictures, okay? Just as a starting point. So I'm going to actually ask um, Marianne. Are you ready, Marianne? Do you come up with three adjectives? Uh, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Tell us your three adjectives, and, and we're going to try and guess which one you chose, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, it's... Uh, 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 the picture is uh, colorful. Um, is de uh, decorative. Uh, is that uh, well pronounced? Decorative. Yep. Decorative and uh, and vivid. Beautiful adjectives. Thank you, Marianne. Okay, I'm going to ask um, Yuki. Which picture do you think Marianne was describing? Can you tell mm -hmm. me, can you describe the picture you think she chose? Uh, yes, she, she chose one of these, these pictures, yeah? 
Yep. I have to guess. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll point out or I'll describe it. Describe it, please. Describe it. Yes. Uh, um, there, there is a, a stone. Uh, there, 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 there are stones. Uh, there are stones uh, in in, uh, in 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 the picture in the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, maybe artist painted. Uh, uh, Sorry, I hear the noise from someone. Uh, Alex, yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, uh, Sorry, Alex, if you can just keep yourself muted unless you're speaking to us so that we can all concentrate. I'm sorry, I muted it. Uh, yes, I, uh, I, uh, there is a uh, uh, stone and artist to uh, uh, make a decorate on it uh, with uh, um, pencil, no, not a pencil, uh, with a paint brush, with, with a brush, uh, with a brush and um, and he 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 very precisely uh, uh, draw a picture on uh, directly on 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 the on on the stones. Uh, All right. Stones. Okay. Are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Keep going. No, you're doing great. Go on, else look, to uh, I have to use uh, adjectives that that um, Marianne give, gave me. No, no, they're just to show you which, um, they're just to give you an idea which picture. But, okay. So basically what we're practicing is our descriptions, right? Because you've got to guide me to the right picture. You've done really well, though, and you were talking about this picture here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was really well done, both of you, because this is not easy, but it's a really good thing to do to practice to see whether you can describe what things look like in English. It can be really tricky. Mariam, is that the correct picture? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice try, Yuki. Oh, um, okay, I'm going to get um, Alex. Are you there, Alex? Yes, I'm here. All right, you've got to try and decide which picture you think Marianne chose. She described the picture as colourful, decorative, and vivid, and it's not this one. Which one do you think it is? Can you describe another of the pictures? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a picture that is outside um, yep. with a little... Um, um, there's like... Um, it's outside with plants and looks like... Um, I don't know, it's a good weather. Um, I don't know what it, what else um, plants and little like a little sofa or something to sit. Um, is that picture or no? I'm wrong. <laughs> um, can you? <laughs> I'm wrong. So it could be this picture that there's a two Halloween face and looks like um, 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 fruits like a uh, strawberry and carrots and limes. Is that picture or I'm wrong? That picture? Uh, uh, wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> okay. Um, Alex and Yuki have tried and failed. Um, <laughs> Jacqueline, it's your turn. You've got not many pictures left to choose from, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Yeah. It's the picture with some flowers, yeah, and they have uh, some logs. Is that it, the name, yeah? Yes. Log. Mm -hmm. And then some plants. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, there's one on the left. Is that the okay. right picture, Marianne? Uh, yes. <laughs> well done. All right. Um, well done, guys. You can see that this is quite tricky, but it's also a really good way to practice some vocab. Um, thank you, Marianne, for that one. Um, what we're going to do is another search. So I'm going to ask Alejandro. Alejandro, we're going to get rid of garden. And I'm going to ask you for another topic to search for, okay? Mm -hmm. What topic would you like me to search for? Topic? Uh, where are the topics? You can think of any topic in the world, Alejandro. <laughs> oh. um, 
Football. Okay, football. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, so Pinterest is never predictable. That is definitely something I've learned from it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste of what comes up if you search for football, guys. Um, I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit so we can fit a few more pins on. Let me see. Um, there you go. It gives us a little bit more choice. So I'm going to scroll down to about here. And instead of what we just did, I'm going to ask a different question. Um, if you would like me to click on any of the pins so you can see it closer, then I can do that. But I would like to ask um, Mariam, since um, you did so well in the last one, out of the pins on this page, um, which do you think is the most interesting pin? Which one stands out to you and why? Uh, well, uh, uh, the dog. <laughs> this one? Uh, yes, it's funny. <laughs> All right, it's funny. Do you like dogs? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, that yeah, could I be mine. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed up in a football supporter's costume. All right, very good. Let's ask Alex. Alex, which do you think is the, the best pin on this page? I think the t-shirt that say, yes, I am a girl, yes, I do watch sports. I like that, girl that like sports. This one here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you like that one? Because like, um, Don doesn't like sports, so it's really nice to share. Uh, for example, I'm watching right now the Baseball World Series. Yep. I'm, alone, I'm alone here on my sofa, studying English and watching the the game because my wife uh, doesn't like sports so uh, <laughs> it could be great that you can share um, a sport with your wife looking at sports so I like that that t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> good choice thank you Alex okay you one both. last person Yuki which which do you like best uh, uh, mm, I like the picture mm, of uh, t-shirt uh, uh, on which the uh, girl loves is is written and and of heart mark. This one here. Yes. Okay. It says this girl loves her football player. He calls me mum. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like this T-shirt? Uh, design is oh, it um, design looks looks cool. Mm -hmm. Um. And the message is quite impressive. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Oh, and and, and heart mark is cute. <laughs> All right. Very good. OK, we're going to do another search. It's now Alex, your turn. What do you want me to search for? Another uh, pin? Yep. No, okay. another search. So we've done gardens and we've done football so far. OK. Um, what would you like me to search for? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Um, um, how about uh, food? Food? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Food it is. Um, oh, if you got, I, you know, I haven't had my lunch yet, so thanks for this, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> You're hungry now. <laughs> I am now, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to scroll down. Uh, one of the main uses, I think, for Pinterest is actually recipes. So it's interesting that you chose this one, Alex. Do you like cooking? Mm, yeah, I like cooking, but outside, you know, like a grill. Um, mm -hmm. um, outside, everything, chicken, meat, but mm -hmm. grill, like a barbecue. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. That, um, that's it. That's the only, the only that I like to cook, but you no. You just like barbecues. No. Not very complicated and uh, cool inside, just outside. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add in food and let me put barbecue food. Since it's your passion, let's see what comes up now. Um, oh, so here you go. This is some inspiration for you, Alex. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, are you delicious. interested in, in finding out about new recipes or not really? Mm, not really. Do you just like cooking whatever you feel like? Yeah, I just you know I just put the the meat outside on the grill, 
um, mm-hmm. put salt, and that's mm-hmm. it. So, um, some sauces, some salad, but yep. nothing complicated because it's, uh, I, don't, I don't like to, to cook like a recipe, so just very simple recipes. Yep. All right. You know, yeah. yeah, I think a barbecue is perfect for that, actually. It's for cooking simple things that always turn out pretty delicious. That's my experience, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you for that excellent um, idea, Alex. Right, what we're going to do, guys, is the same as we did before. Um, we're going to have to be really specific about our description in this one. So I want you guys to choose a picture of mine. Um, and then I'm going to ask you to describe it, and I'm going to ask the others to guess which picture. So you have to choose one that you feel that you can describe really, really carefully and thoroughly. Have a look at the food, what it looks like, what color it is, um, what you think it might taste like, where it's presented, how it's presented, any of those things to help you. Um, and we're going to go for... I'm going to go for Alejandro. Alejandro, I would like you to describe to us one of the pictures, please. Describe. <clears throat> okay. Be as specific as you can. Um, there is a picture with some some chicken inside. Good. Mm. Keep going. Mm, there are four legs of chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, all. anything else? <laughs> is, is the picture black and white, Alejandro? Because I don't see any black and white pictures. What colour is the chicken? The chicken has a uh, Brown color. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna um, nominate you to write the next cookbook, Alejandro. <laughs> um, what we could say if we want it to sound really delicious, right, is maybe golden brown. Golden brown. Uh-huh. Um, I would also say if we're looking at the same picture that this chicken is slightly charred. Okay, slightly charred. Do you know what charred means? No. No. It's what we usually use with barbecues, Alex. You need to learn this word, okay? <laughs> Char grilled. <laughs> it's what your wife will say politely to you if she thinks you've burnt the food, all right? <laughs> it's that black colour you get if you leave it on for too long. Um, all right. Alejandro, um, you've described it really well. Does anyone want to tell me which picture it is? It has a, a quite an obvious name, I believe. Which one is it, guys? Marianne, which picture did Alejandro describe? Mm, uh, I think uh, uh, Z is the one with the, uh, the, the, the one that says um, bake, BBQ chicken. Yeah. Is it this one, Alejandro? Yes. Well done, well done, Marianne. Okay, we're going to do one more. I'm going to ask this time Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you describe one of the pictures, please? Yeah, um, there, there is a like a, a pan or something, a, I don't know, recipient with uh, beans and uh, maybe some some meat, steak, pork, and uh, it is brown. Yeah. And I think um, it is very juicy. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Let me see. Oh, all the meat may be very. Hmm. I don't know how to say that. It's smooth. It's the opposite of hard. Uh, I don't know. In this case. Okay. Uh, like easy to to chew. Yeah. Easy to chew? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we could say tender, uh, tender, maybe. What? Tender. Uh, tender. If something's tender. easy to chew, then it's tender. Yeah, okay. So all the meat may be tender because they have been cooked um, inside the beans. 
Mm-hmm. All right, well done. Good description. Um, Yuki, which one do you think she described? Uh, uh, difficult. <laughs> Uh, beans. She said beans. This one here? Is that the right one? E- yes, I think it's this one. Jacqueline, no? is that the right one? Yes, it is. Oh, well done, Yuki. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jacqueline, yeah, that, I think the thing that gave it away for me was that it's in a pan, and you said it was juicy, which is really nice, as, but we could also say it has um, maybe a thick sauce. That's probably what I'd say. Okay. Mm, all right. Oh my goodness, guys, we're gonna have to change the topic, otherwise I'm gonna have to leave early for lunch. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Please um, don't choose food for the next one, Alex. My mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, it's your turn to choose the topic. Uh, Please don't choose maybe food. Uh, this one, maybe disgusting one is better, yeah. Okay. Possibly. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe frog. 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 Frogs. Okay. Frog. Frog. <laughs> there we go. There's a frog. Cute. Oh, yes, they do look strange. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna ask. I'm just gonna welcome psychologa <laughs> to the class. Are you there? I don't know, and I'm not sure. Hello. What... Hello. 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 Paolo, nice to meet you. Paolo, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Paolo. Welcome to the class. We're talking about Pinterest, okay? Okay, thank you. We've just looked up frogs, and here we have some very interesting pictures, I must say, Yuki. Great topic choice. I'm going to ask Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro, which is the best picture on this page, and why do you think it's the best picture? For me, the best picture is <clears throat> um, the fourth began on the left. The fourth on the left. This one? Yes. That's the fourth from the left, Alejandro. The fourth ah. from the left. Okay. Well done. Why do you think this is the best picture? What do you like about it? Mm, that animal is very rare. Mm-hmm. Mm, his eyes uh, are very big. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I have never seen that kind of animal. Excellent. Very good, Alejandro. According to this, it's called an alien black-eyed monkey tree frog, which is kind of a long name. Um, But I must admit, it's very striking. It's hard to tell the size from that. I suppose it's perched on a flower. Um, But yeah, I agree. Very interesting. Okay, thanks, Alejandro. Let's ask... um, Paolo, Paolo, which picture do you like best from this page? Well, it's difficult to choose because all pictures is, is very interesting. But um, I will choose the the second on the right down, the blue okay. frog. This one here. That one. What? Yes, yes. This. Okay, so this is from this this is the second from the right and two down, okay? The second from the right and two down. Okay, the second to the right, two down. Yep. Why do you like it? Why I like it because <laughs> it's very interesting called blue frogs. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's different from the other because the other uh, the majority of other is green and mm-hmm. this one is blue it's different and it's small and uh, great eyes black eyes mm-hmm. and um, it, the frog is, 
seems like happy because the mouth uh, is open. Yeah, it almost looks as if he's smiling, doesn't it? <laughs> That's possible for a frog. Um, yeah. Very good description. Very good description. Well done, Paolo. Okay. Um, I'm just going to ask one more person. I'm going to ask Alex. Alex, which one do you like best from this page? I like the frog that is carrying the other frog. That is a little one um, on the right. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, the seven. Yeah. Um, looks like um, um, I don't know if he or she. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't tell, can we? <laughs> the thing is, he. No, no, it's he. It's she. She. She's working out with the other frogs. So, uh, <laughs> looks great. So I think I I need to do that to lose weight. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> For um, the reason. Like <laughs> gymnastics, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. You're okay, um, that was an excellent choice, Yuki. Well done. Very entertaining pictures. Um, who has not had a had a turn at giving a a topic yet? Jacqueline, have you given us a topic? Mm, no, I haven't. All right, your turn then. Uh, get rid of frogs. What would you like us to look up? I don't know books. Pardon? Books. Books. Yeah. Okay, books it is. Are you an, do you like reading? A little bit. I I'm I have some difficulty because I, I have difficulty concentrating, mm -hmm. but I I really try hard. <laughs> All right. And do you read a lot in your own language or you prefer doing other stuff like watching TV? Uh books I read more in my own language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So what we've got here, guys, this is interesting, is um, we've got some nice pictures of books, we've got some quotes from books, and we've got some lists, right? So we're going to have a look at the lists for the moment. Um, so what we've got here is um, books to read before their movies. I'm going to type these into the chat box. Books to read before they are movies. Uh, we've got the ultimate list of books. Um, and we've got, what other one can I find here? Uh, <clears throat> there must be another reading list somewhere here. 65 books you need to read in your 20s. How about that? Books to read at a certain age. Okay, so we're going to talk about this time, guys. Have a look in the chat box if you need to be reminded of the topics. I'm going to ask you to name a book that you think should be on one of these lists, okay? So I'm going to ask, first of all, um, Marianne, if you had to add a, list, uh, add a book sorry, to the list, books to read before their movies, what would you add? What book do you think you should definitely read before you see the movie? Mm, uh, well, I, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't see the book that I... That I, one of the books that I like the most, but I will definitely recommend the Millennium Saga. Okay, I haven't heard of that. What's it about? Uh, it's about a a female hacker that has a lot of troubles in um, uh, with her life and with her past and when and when, uh, with her past, and mm -hmm. it takes place in Sweden. Oh, okay. And why do you think it's important to read that book? What, why did you like it so much? Uh, because uh, I think that book uh, never makes you bored. So it keeps you keeps you entertained. Uh, yes, it's a book that has a uh, uh, quite a good pace. So uh, every every chapter uh, something interesting happens. Awesome. Okay, well, maybe you could type the title for us, please, into the chat box in case anybody else wants to read that. Thank you, Marianne. I'm okay. going to ask um, Alejandro um, about the ultimate list. Okay, if you had to say one of your favorite all-time most important books, what, what would it be? Most important book? Yep, in your life. 
For example, Tao Te Ching, uh, or some books of uh, um, I, uh, Do you know uh, Tao Te Ching? I can you type that for me, Alejandro? It doesn't ring a bell, but I'm trying to think. Can you type it into the chat box, please? Ah, I think I think possibly in English we call it the Tao Te Ching. Is it about sort of philosophy and stuff? Yes. Ah, okay, yeah, I have heard of it. Yeah, okay, so it's... Yeah, thank you, Yuki. <laughs> um, why why do you like that book, Alejandro? Um, it's very deeply. It's very deep. Deep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it helps you with, with your life, maybe, or...? <coughs> of course. Yeah, okay. you can use for your life. Uh-huh. And you cannot go to the <laughs> psychiatric. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay away from psychiatric help. <laughs> well, that's certainly a good reason to read a book. Thank you, Alejandro. All right, last one is books to read at a certain age. So what we did have down here somewhere is books to read in your 20s, but you can choose a different... Um, you can choose a different decade if you prefer. I'm going to ask Paolo. Paolo, which book do you think you should read at a certain age? Can you think of anything? Um, well, I will talk about the uh, alchemist. Okay, because, the alchemist. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very famous book and it's very interesting because a million cells, this a million cups cells and... A million copies have been sold. Okay, a million copies have been sold. Mm -hmm. More than a million, yes. And yeah. uh, and talk about the um, angust, anxious about the life, uh, about the future or about your career. So I think uh, all age like uh, this move, this book because they'll talk about our soul deeply. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very interesting. Paulo Coelho is uh, was blessed when he wrote this book. All right, I must admit, um, Paulo, I agree with you. A hundred percent. I absolutely love that book, and I'm a big fan of Paolo Coelho. Can't say his name, but I am a big fan of him. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, Paolo, since you're the only one left who hasn't given me a topic, thank you for that one, Jacqueline. Um, a topic, please, from you, Paolo. Anything you like, we're going to look it up. Movies, of course. All right, course. movies it is. Movies is wonderful. Very wonderful. <laughs> Okay, right, let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got some great movies. Um, Yuki, it's your turn to talk. Have a look at what we've got on this page. Yes. Have you seen any of these movies? Uh, uh, I haven't seen any of it. <laughs> you haven't seen uh. any of them? Yes. Okay, that's all right. Maybe. Which one do you think? Maybe Nemo. I... Yes, the first Nemo. episode I I have seen Nemo, mm -hmm. animation film from Disney. Mm -hmm. But uh, ah, yes, yes, I I saw it. Yes. <laughs> all right. Do you remember it? I remember that little little story about about a fish, little fish. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it, it, 
it it be a long time since I I I watched it, but I I remember that uh, fish a little fish uh, uh, maybe captured when when he when it when it swim swim uh, on the ocean in the ocean yeah. and it 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 was brought brought to the to the city mm -hmm. and uh, mm, uh, uh, <laughs> you're doing great uh, okay. <laughs> it, uh, it is uh, uh, it it was uh, it it was put into water tank and <coughs> And it and and a boy maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. Someone someone keep it as a pet and as a aquarium. Yep. Uh, yes. And he tried to escape from it uh, because he want to see he she his mother mm -hmm. and he tried his best. Maybe someone someone helped him. Someone helped him to escape. Maybe someone. Who? May fly? Maybe I butterfly. I have no idea. I can't remember. A butterfly, possibly. Maybe cockroach. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, another animal. Yes. He using a seesaw, maybe, or something. I vaguely him. remember that too, Yuki. My memory's not that great either. He jumped up. From from aquarium and he 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 succeeded in escaping and it was a great adventure for him. And Absolutely. I think it I think it was a quite funny film. I like mm -hmm. it. Do you like animated films in general, Yuki? Uh, when I was young, I I loved uh, I loved Japanese anime. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, animation Miyazaki Hayao is, uh, I think, uh, he, his, his animation is a uh, uh, quality of his animation is quite good. I like mm -hmm. his uh, works, and there are many interesting animations in Japan. And also, I like uh, so, uh, animation from Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, there, there are very a, a lot of a good a lot of excellent animations made in made in Soviet Union mm -hmm. uh, and I, I like it very much. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Yuki. Okay, just before we finish guys, I'm gonna get you to tell me um which is the best movie on this page according to you? Which is the best movie on this page according to your opinion? So I'm gonna ask first of all Paolo. Paolo? Uh, for me, Avatar is the best move because have a lot of interesting theme like environment and uh, relationship people. The phrase "I see you" is great for me. <laughs> I see you. It means for me, I see your soul. It's great. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Paolo. Very insightful. Um, I really like that movie as well. Marianne, which is the best movie on this page for you? Uh, well, the movie where I found the, the best is uh, The Green Mile, mm -hmm. although it's uh, kind of sad. It makes uh, it made me think about uh, about life and the the things, uh, the good deeds that you do, and also the bad ones that. Uh, maybe if you do something bad in your life that comes to you uh, sometime after. It, a, a, a little worse or much, much worse. Mm -hmm. All right, I agree. The Green Mile is definitely one of those amazing movies that makes you think really deeply. Good choice. Okay, Jacqueline, what about you? Uh, for me, I think it's The, the Lion King. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a part of my uh, childhood mm. and because I think it's... Um, um, very nice movie because it, it makes you f you feel different things uh, along the movie. Uh, it, I don't know. I think it it helps uh, kids, especially uh, deal with the death death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's also funny and I, I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> 
I have to say, um, Jacqueline, I think The Lion King is my all-time favorite animated movie. I absolutely love that one. That's great. Good choice. <laughs> okay, Alex, what about you? Your favorite on this page? For me? Yep. Oh, um, Mrs. The Fire. I like the, uh, Mrs. The Fire because um, after the wife and the husband fight, um, he... I uh, did everything to see um, his uh, kids, uh -huh. and he uh, he um, he um, um, dressed like a woman, so like an old <laughs> woman, and he yeah. go into uh, his house and he take care of his kids. Uh, it's a really nice story, and actually, um, Robin Williams is, has been a great actor. So he died uh, like uh, six months before. I like him. I I, I follow him all all his movies. It's very really nice. Movie. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's so true. It's such a shame about Robin Williams, I have to say. He's an awesome actor. Okay, last but not least, Alejandro, which is your favorite? I would choose uh, Brim Meyer. <clears throat> okay, why? That movie has a great mes message. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I that's absolutely true. I think um, anybody who's seen that could agree. All right, guys, really well done. Um, we've got to finish off now just so you can go to your next class. Thanks all for participating. Um, I don't know about you, but I had a lot of fun looking up stuff on Pinterest and talking about it with you, so I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope it helped you. Um, have a really great day. I'm going to go straight and have lunch now. I am starving after looking at all those barbecue foods. Thank you for that, Alex. <laughs> um, You're welcome. I'll see you guys, I hope. So have a great day. Take care and see you later. Bye. Bye. Good day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you think <laughs> some things maybe not sure about? Uh, no, I think uh, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm doing good. Good. Um, is your studying going okay? Is your work going okay? Uh, yes. Okay, that's great news. Well, um, Mariam, do you use Pinterest? Have you ever heard uh, of Pinterest? Uh, yes, I have an account. Okay, and how often do you use it? Mm, oh, well, <laughs> I guess once a month. <laughs> once a month? About uh, once a month. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I use uh, um, other social networks uh, much more. Okay, can you tell me about that? Do you use Facebook? Uh, yes, and Twitter. All right, and which? Can you tell me a little bit about it? So, do you, what do you use those social networks for? Is it just for fun, or do you use them for your business, or what particularly? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, aside from having fun, maybe business also uh, discussing interest, uh, interesting threads with your friends and mm -hmm. acquaintances and perhaps... Uh Hello everybody, welcome to this verbaling class with me. My name is Teacher Amy. Today's class is a speaking class and we're going to be talking about social media but particularly Pinterest today. So if you're interested in Pinterest, then um, come along in and join us. We're going to be sort of um, talking a little bit about social media and what it means to us, how it plays a role in our lives. But we're also going to be looking at some Pinterest boards and talking about the stuff that we see on them. And is it useful? Is it fun? Is it a waste of time? What do you guys think? Are you members of Pinterest? Do you use other social media sites? Um, and what do you think of it? So do come along in and join us. If you want to find out anything more about Verbling, this class, or private tutoring sessions, then the best place to go is to either my Facebook page or my Verbling teacher page, which you can find there in the chat box. Um, we're going to say hi to the students and see what they think, first of all, about Pinterest. And this is a speaking class mainly today, so if you do want to practice your speaking, come along in and join us. So who do we have here, first of all? We have Marianne. Hello. Oh, hello, teacher. Nice to see you again. How is everything? Uh, well, I think it, everything's fine. Thanks you for asking. Even promoting 
uh, what you do in a professional manner. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. It's very good to hear. Um, there are so many social networks out there at the moment. Um, I guess it's, it's sometimes I, I wonder whether they're actually more trouble than they're worth, whether they're helpful, whether they're just sort of fun, or whether they're a complete waste of time. So it's interesting to hear what people use and, and why they use it. So thank you, Marianne, for starting us off. Welcome to the class. Uh, thank you. Um, who else are we going to say hi to? We're going to say hi to Jacqueline. Hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I was mute. <laughs> no problem, Jacqueline. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay. Well, welcome. Um, tell me, um, how long have you been studying English with Verbling for? Uh, with Verbling, I think, I don't know, some months. Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure uh, how long. Okay. And um, how long have you been studying English overall, roughly? Uh -oh. English for about 10 years or more. <laughs> okay, so a long time. All right, I'm interested to know, Are you? have you ever used Pinterest? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If you guys know, you know, like a pin board that you have on your wall here, maybe you stick stuff on it with pins to remind you or I don't know. Pinterest is sort mm -hmm. of all about, personally, this is what I think, it's, it's about gathering in, inspiration or seeing things you like and keeping a note of them somewhere. And yeah, it's very, very visual. So most things have some kind of a picture or image. Although you can pin websites, movies, that type of stuff too. Okay, um, yeah. All right, so Jacqueline, apart from Pinterest, do you use any other social media? Uh, yeah, Facebook. <laughs> OK, and how often do you use Facebook? Mm. I hate this how long questions. <laughs> I have a really ten hours a day. <laughs> I have no trouble with that. Um, I don't know for some years, five years maybe, something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. how long. That's how long you've used it for. But how often do you use it? Like every oh. day or? Yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately, yes. Okay, very honest of you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Great. <laughs> right. um, let's say hi. Well, welcome to the contrast. Well, um, some time ago, I was invited to to use it, and uh, to be quite sure, I didn't realize exactly how it works because I just saw some pictures, yeah, and I didn't really understand what it's about. So I. I just didn't have much interest in it. Yeah. Didn't have much Pinterest. <laughs> okay. And what about now? <laughs> Sorry, that was a horrible joke. I know. Um, <laughs> you, you, you don't, so you sort of had a look at it, but you don't really use it. No, no. I I just opened it because I saw the classes about it, <laughs> just to see. And I, I just don't understand it. I still don't understand it. There, it's like um, and um, it's like because you, you asked the other girl, I forgot Marion, yeah, yeah, about Facebook. So it's like a, a social network, yeah, but yep. it only um about images. Is that it? Yes, well, we're actually going to find out a little bit more about it as we go on. But basically mm -hmm. what it is, Mariam's given a good description. It's sort of like an online pin board, which is why it's called pins. 